Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be answering your questions that you guys had asked in the uh, Q&A video. Um, we're going to answer them right now. So, um, we're going to get started here. And um, I'm outside guys, it's a beautiful day here in Florida. Uh, pretty hot, but it is a beautiful day. So I want to do it outside. We got some birds in the background, so hopefully that doesn't mess with the audio too much. Uh, I had my other camera with the mic on it, but the battery started going low, and I plugged it in, and I did this whole thing, and for some reason it won't record audio when it's plugged in, but it'll record video. So I don't understand what's going on with that. So. Let's go ahead and get to this. Um, had a lot of participation on this, so this this is a fun video for me. So uh, hopefully it's going to be as fun for you guys as well. So um, we got birds, we got airplanes flying overhead, but we're going to start off with uh, Nancy Jones. Nancy, um, the Rolly. Okay, it's boxed up. We haven't sent it out yet. Uh, you know, we got we had some issues we got to take care of. Things have been going on. You know, her father's still in the hospital. He's, well, he's in rehab. He, they had to take his leg off just above the knee. So, you know, she's been kind of uh, preoccupied with that and everything. So, please bear with us, Nancy. Um, we'll, we'll get that out soon, okay? It's, it's yours. It's got your name on it and everything. So, please bear with us. You know, we're just kind of having some issues we got to deal with right now. So, but we'll get that out to you soon, okay? So, I wanted to get that out of the way so she knows that, you know, everything's all right. So, let's start with um, Chris Smith, all right? One of the questions he asked is um, Coke or Pepsi? Well, Chris, if you like in my some of my videos, if you kind of look in the background and whatnot, you'll see a Coke can. My favorite's Coke. Although right now I am drinking Pepsi. I ran out of um, I ran out of Coke this morning. Well, I actually had one left, and I took like two drinks out of it, and I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know what I did with it. Set it down somewhere. But this is a uh, a brand new two liter that we had from you know we bought a pizza and that was one of the deals you get a two liter of a Pepsi product so uh, I have actually went to a restaurant that didn't have coke and, and I just drank water so but I'm drinking Pepsi today but my favorite yes is coke uh, and I know some of you guys that will watch this later are going to go, well, what, what's, your, what's your favorite beer? Favorite beer is Miller High Life or Miller Lite. That's my favorite beers. He also asked, has anyone ever told me that I look like Chuck Norris? As a matter of fact, yes, I've had a lot of people tell me that. So that's kind of, that was a good question because uh, I was glad to see that pop up because I have had people tell me that a lot. And... Uh, so that's kind, of, that's kind of cool, Chris, that you asked that. He also asked um, if I'd ever... Let me see if I got it here. He says, uh, have you ever thought about doing a big ghost hunt? Like asylum or haunted building? Yes. Yes, I have. I have done a couple. One, actually, you know, I... I I consider investigating because um, I don't just go to hunt for a ghost. I look for for answers, you know, try to find or debunk something that may be bothering someone, you know, in their home or their establishment. Uh, we did a big building in Springfield, Ohio, one time. I don't, I can't remember if I got any of that on video or not. I'd have to run through my videos and see, but I can't because I really didn't catch anything there. Um, but I did do, I do have a video of the Bell Nursing Home. I investigated that. It's an old, old nursing home. It's no longer in business, but it is privately owned now, and they offer investigations to people. I did, I do have a video up on that. Uh, it's the Bell Nursing Home. And 
I actually got two videos of the place. Second video, they invited us to come. They had a private party, a private Halloween party for their friends and family, and they actually invited us, and we were the only uh, paranormal investigators they invited, and they had a lot of, so we felt privileged, and I want to thank them guys again, if you watch this, that, yeah, that was, that was pretty nice of them, so we got to spend the night there, and, uh, uh, so I did kind of a quick video on that, but I didn't really do any ghost hunting or paranormal investigation or anything that night, but I did, when everyone was sleeping, walk around, check the place out, it was pretty creepy, you know, but, yeah, so if you know of any places, Chris, like around here in Florida that you've heard about or, uh, you know, drop me a line or, or you know, you can message me um, through email. Uh, if you guys want, it's it would be bruno5000 at gmail.com. That's B-R-U-N-O-5-0-0-0 at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, Chris, if you know of anything... I'd love, I'd love to do, I'd love to do an asylum, you know, that would be totally cool, man, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's awesome, um, but, yeah, I, I have been fortunate enough to do a uh, couple, couple bigger buildings, but, you know, nothing major, like, just hometown stuff, you know, that people have, but, mm-hmm, I, I, I would do it in a second, all right, so, there's Chris's answers for him. And I got Nancy's. And we've got Carmen. Okay, so here's Carmen's. She asked several questions. Um, <laughs> the first question she asked was Are we only allowed to are we only allowed one question? No. You can ask as many as you want. <laughs> and Carmen did, so that's cool. Alright, Carmen. Um, that's the answer to your first question. <laughs> Second question. How did you and Monkey meet? Well, I'll tell you how we met. We met at a uh, on a dating website. It was called Meet Me. Uh, we met on there. And there's a little backstory with that. I, I'd send her every morning, you know, I would send her like these little pictures of cups of coffee and stuff like that or flowers or something and every once in a while she would reply back thanks or whatnot and I'm not a friend collector on social media like uh, you know like Facebook a lot of people they just want all the friends they can get I don't know why you know, but they do and uh, I was like I was getting ready to delete her because she didn't talk much we never really had a big conversation so finally one evening I was sitting by the fire and I was like, you know, I asked her if she had any plans for a weekend. She said no. Asked me what I had in mind. I told her, you know, maybe we can get together and meet up and, and talk in person. This wasn't really that far from me, about an hour from where I was staying at my sister's. And so hopefully you guys can hear me. So Friday, so we set up a day for Saturday to go to the flea market and whatnot and go get something to eat, hang out together and get to know each other. Well, Friday rolls around, Friday afternoon, it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock. She, she had got off work early and she says, you know, I'm not far from you. I had a patient pretty close to you. I'm done now. I'm like, oh, that's nice. And she had mentioned that a couple times. We were messaging back and forth, you know. And uh, she had mentioned that like three, four times maybe. And and I was like, oh, that's cool, small world, you know, you're off of this road, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's where I'm at. And finally a couple minutes go by and she says, well, since you're not going to ask, <laughs> do you want to meet up tonight instead of meeting up in the morning? But still keep our date the next day. So I was like, yeah. So I told her where I lived, where I stand, and uh, she showed up and we went out and got to know each other. Went and got a sandwich and listened to some music at a place called The Villages, which was cool. So the next day, hooked up again. She come by and picked me up in the morning. We went to the flea market, huge giant flea market over in Ocala, Florida. Went there. Then we went to the villages again. And we went to a pizza place and got something to eat. And I didn't have enough money because I borrowed some money off my brother-in-law. And, uh, and I went and bought cigarettes. And then I didn't have enough money because I didn't think it was going to cost that much. But... To borrow eight dollars off of her man i felt 
like this big, you know. And she said, "No, it's okay." And then she goes, "So we get, you know, we get outside, and you know, I'm smoking cigarettes." She goes, "Well, you, you want to go have a couple drinks and listen to some music, and you know, for a little bit, maybe do a little dancing." And I was like, "Well," she said, "This one's on me." <laughs> so that's kind of how it got started. So, and then you know, a few weeks later, she invited me out to her house because she needed brakes put on her truck, and I told her, "You know, I'll do that." And, you know, she's like, well, I'll pay you. I'm like, no, don't worry about it. Just buy me a couple beers and a sandwich, you know. So, and that's that's how we met. And that's how we got together. So, that's that's pretty cool. And next question from Carmen is, do I believe in aliens? Damn it. As a paranormal investigator, I have to keep an open mind on all things paranormal. That's including chupacabras, Sasquatch, you know, Bigfoot, uh, aliens, yes, and I have investigated all of them. Uh, I do believe in, I don't know if there's little green men, I don't know what they look like, I've never seen an alien, but I believe there's other life forms out there because I have got a story for another video sometime about something I seen years ago when I was just a teenager with my father that leads me to believe yeah there's something something out there something's going on but yeah I, I you know I keep an open mind on everything like that so yeah I, I do believe there's something out there um, our favorite food to make together me and monkey's favorite food well our favorite food to make together would be meatballs she loves my meatballs and Though I do like 90% of the cooking, that's when she'll help me on. I'll, I'll do, you know, all the ingredients, the hamburger and all that, and all my seasoning and everything. And then she'll make the little balls up for me. So, because I, I hate that. That's tedious. But she got me a meatball maker ordered from Wish. So that's going to be a video you guys need to watch too. So when that comes in, yeah, I'll be making that video. So, but yeah, it, it would be meatballs is our favorite thing to make together. So... Do, okay, kids. Do we have kids? Well, yeah, I've got three girls. Uh, Amberly, Marty, who was named after me, and Shauna. Shauna Bear, which I've got Shauna's name on my arm. And that's the or origination of my channel name, Shea Bear 1000 Because when I started my channel, she's my youngest. She's 15 now. So when I started my channel, you know, I'm trying to think of a name about Shauna Bear, Bear, and all this stuff was taken. And then, you know, how they, they'll give you you know like suggestions you know you want to try this or that because I was trying Shea Bear you know short for Shauna Bear and first one suggestion popped up was Shea Bear 1000 I was like that's cool so that's how I got my channel name um, they're all in Ohio and um, Monkey has two kids they're in their mid and late 20s she has a daughter, Leslie, who has two children, two boys, and you may have heard me mention them when I was doing the racetrack video. That's who the racetracks are for, is for the boys. And she has a son. His name is Billy. He is in North Carolina right now, so he's working up there. He loves it up there. So, yeah, he moved up there, and um, so she has two and I have three. Now my two oldest ones, uh, my oldest one, Amberly, um, she has three kids. So we have five grandchildren together. And uh, my middle one has no kids, and of course my youngest one has no kids, and better not for a while, bear. Anyway, so, there's that. Where am I from originally? Well, I am from Ohio originally. That's a little a little town in Ohio, just east of Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm from Ohio, and she is originally from Canada. Niagara Falls is where she's originally from. She moved down here when she was 16 with her parents. They had bought a motel on Daytona Beach. It was called White Sands, and that's another story there, but um, it's not there anymore. It's tore down, but yeah, it was right there on Daytona Beach, right on the beach. So she had her pool, and then if you walked down a step from the pool, you were on day, on the beach, on the ocean. So that was pretty cool, you know, for her to grow up like that. Uh, 
which videos do I enjoy doing most? You know, she's asking about, uh, shit, I'm gonna burn myself up here. You know, cooking review products, blah, 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 do-it-yourself videos. Well, I think that, uh, you know, I'm passionate about all, all the videos I make. Um, my, my favorite, uh, most of all favorite is, uh, would be abandoned places. Um, the abandoned houses, the, the buildings, you know, the adrenaline when you go into a place, not knowing what's in there, not knowing what you're going to find. That would be my all-time favorite. Although, like I said, I am passionate about all my videos. I, I love to film. I love to edit. I love to upload. And I love reading comments. And uh, the do-it-yourself videos, you know, uh, I love doing them because it helps people. Uh, I've had a lot of comments on my do-it-yourself videos, and it's just amazing that the people that come back and say it, it really helped them. Uh, one of them that did real good was the Dirt Devil vacuum not working right. That does that did good. The John Deere not starting that did did very well. And of course, I got some videos on the truck and the car, um, which has helped some, helped some people. Um, but I've had people ask me. Why not do another channel? Well, I would have to do five or six channels. And that would be hard for people to find the videos that they want to see because each channel, you guys know, you, you have to have a different name. And so I, that's why I've got so many playlists because I want my channel to be, you know, something for everyone interest, interested in the most things that I can get. That way, you know, the audience has a, a broader you know point that they they can find a video that they want to see they just go to Shea Bear 1000 scroll down if they want to know how to do something they can just scroll down to, to home improvement you know do it yourself or you know how to on tips and tricks on cars you know mechanical stuff or cooking or, or things of that nature so that's why I have a just one channel and a multiple playlist because you know that way it co kind of covers a lot of basis for people that's why I'm always asking for ideas, you know, from you guys, because you guys are the, are the ones that's watching. And though I love doing this and I'm very passionate about all my videos, I still want you guys to enjoy and maybe something. That's why I'm always asking, you know, should I do this? Or if you guys have an idea for me to do something, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, we'll see about what we can do to do that. But, yeah, my favorite, definitely abandoned places. Um, is there a uh, food I refuse to eat? Well, um, I like a lot of food. There are some things I, I don't care for, but as far as refusing to eat, the only thing I can think of that I've never tried, and I don't think I will, I may sometime, and if I do, I'll bring you guys in on it, uh, would be calamari, which if you guys don't, don't know, whoever's watching this don't know, that is squid. There's something about that. Uh, I would say that would be something right now that I will refuse to eat. I mean, you know, I've ate skunk. I've ate raccoon. I've ate groundhog. I've ate, you know, snake. Calamari, just, you know, squid just seems a little weird. Um, and is there a, a food that monkey refuses to eat yes there is she does not like sushi you know raw fish she won't eat that no matter what she won't eat it oh by the way I've had cactus too that's on that's on a YouTube video me trying cactus I think she tried it too and it was pretty good uh, kind of bland it's a cactus so it's kind of flavored however you want to flavor it, like whatever you cook it in you know it's the best thing if you're gonna cook up a cactus it would be you know uh, fried up in, in like something that you've already cooked in that pan and that oil you know and that's kind of what flavors it if it's not for that it really doesn't have flavor but they flavored it whatever they cooked it in it was pretty good she took me to a restaurant we ended up eating at a restaurant it turned out to be a vegan restaurant so <laughs> but their drinks were good uh, so, but yeah her her would be sushi would be hers um, and our favorite restaurant um, we have so many, uh, but here in the town we live in, we ha kind of have two. One is a Mexican restaurant. I waited for months to finally open to try, and then when they did, it took another 
couple months to before we could really because the place is always packed there you know they're parking in the grass and and you know I mean it's just always packed so we always go like later in the evening to like a couple hours for closing time and then you know it's easier to park easier to get a place to sit because we like to sit outside um, that's that's one of our favorites but I think uh, the one here in, in our town that we live in keep wanting to say hometown but this is not our hometown it's, it's where we live uh, there's a place called Heidi's and both these places are just right up the road one's up the road from the other and uh, not even a five minute drive um, there's a place called Heidi's it's a little mom and pop uh, Italian restaurant and they've got excellent food I try to try to remember what I had the last time so I can try something different every time we go and we usually get a sangria you know a craft sangria and uh but they've got good drinks they got like a little bar in there so and you can eat outside there as well and good service good food and people are nice so that is our favorite so hopefully i covered everything in that for you carmen and let's see so we've got nancy carmen chris all right now let's go to bxx32 Okay, that's Ben. He's from Ohio. Uh, he does awesome. He's doing a hundred day video challenge right now. He's a hundred videos. He's doing a video day for hundred days. He's on like day 61 now. And they're awesome. I've seen every one of them. Uh, though we've never met in person. And we didn't live that far apart. I only like, before I moved down here, I only lived like 40 minutes from him or whatever. We just could never get together with me working and everything and him out doing his exploring and, and you know and then so we, we can never get together so hopefully sometime he can get back down here get down here to Florida and uh, or I can get up there again and see him sometime but anyway he asked what is the scariest location I've ever been to I want to answer that in two ways Ben because I have two different okay first I'm going to answer in the paranormal room as far as in investigating paranormal stuff the scariest place hands down I've ever been to in my life and I went back one time to do some work there and that's another story that'll be a campfire story for you guys was the Sedansville Rectory in Sedansville Ohio which is just a suburb of, of Cincinnati and um, it's just, you know, when it's just like right beside, since it's actually considered Cincinnati, but it's called Sedansville. It's a little burg like. So, um, but that was the scariest place I've ever investigated in my life. Um, beautiful, big old mansion. And uh, I forget how many rooms there was. And it overlooked the river, it was up on a hill. And we went there to investigate that. It had a snowstorm, so we got there a couple hours late. It was just me and my ex. It's the only two people in that. And I, and I went over that place with a fine tooth comb whenever I do an investigation like that. I make sure there's no one else in or around the house. And that, that was some scary stuff, which I've got like three or four videos on that. Uh, very interesting stuff. But that is one place, if we hadn't had that snowstorm, I probably would have left probably before midnight um, but really had no choice because it was so you know it's snowing so bad ended up getting like almost six inches of snow or something down down around there that at that time so and then the next day we couldn't leave till uh, probably about noon by the time they got the the streets cleared off just so we get back on the highway to go home but so that was my scare scariest paranormal place um, the scariest place I, I explored as far as urban exploring um, my adventures was the Richmond Hospital. Now, I got two videos on that. Um, that, was, that was a very uneasy place and I'll tell you why. We went in the main place. We had the car sitting out front now. It had just snowed, just stopped snowing just as we was getting there. And so we pulled in and you can see on the video of the snow and we was making tracks in the snow as we pulled in and we did a little bit so that's a two-parter that's the first part we did a little bit my ex got scared wanted to get out 
Uh, so, you know, I always say, when in doubt, get the fuck out, right? If you're feeling easy, don't don't be in there. It's it's not, it's not worth it to make a video if you get hurt. So, and I, I was I was feeling a little uneasy too. So we left and we went up behind the place, went up this up the road, and went to an apartment complex. Had a big parking lot there. So she pulled in between a couple of cars, and I got out, and I had to hike back down over the steep embankment through the property, and then I went into the building and. I went in kind of like the older section that was built in like the late 1800s, I do believe. And um, it was like the original part of the hospital before they built the bigger, newer section. And uh, it was more like administrative offices in there, at, you know, when it closed down. Um, so, but I, I did I did that and on my way out, I, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. I can barely pick it up, but I seen somebody like down the hall. It was like a shadow and I didn't have the light on on the camera and I, I had a, a flashlight mounted on the bottom of the camera at that time I didn't turn it on and number one because I, I didn't want them to know I was there which I'm sure they did because I was talking and stuff but I did see someone and they ducked in like a room so I started getting the hell out of there right I was in doubt I was getting the hell out then I kind of got lost I couldn't remember you know I had a lot on my mind I could get out of here where did I come in at and so I went back out and as I was uploading that video or you know editing that video I thought you know there was already a set of tracks in the fresh snow fresh tracks going into that building when I went in there and I got thinking about that when I came out there was two sets all right one set was already there when I went in the second set was mine and then of course the third set was me coming out there's a set missing so whoever made them tracks going in had not been out of there yet so they were still in there and that's probably who I saw it could have been a homeless person it could have been another explorer I don't know but the way they ducked back I don't know if they thought maybe I was a cop or what I didn't want to take any chances um, I have run into like vagrants before homeless people and they're usually pretty nice and they'll talk to you I actually had had one one time show me around this this building and I never got to go back to the place but when I got home it would play on the camera but when I tried to import it on the computer it kept saying corrupted file so what I was going to do was just plug the camera into the TV and record the TV and then all at once it just stopped working so that sucked but that guy was really really cool um, so that that was my scariest as far as uh, urban exploring as far as adventure wise that was that was really uneasy I didn't get down into the places I wanted to do some of the the hospital rooms you know the patient rooms I wanted to do some of those and I didn't get a chance because I thought I was going to go back but I had a comment about a week or two ago uh, maybe it was last week uh, somebody had commented on that video and said According to Google Earth, it looked to them. Now they're not sure, but it looked like that. It looked like it was being torn down. So I don't know if you, if you're out around that way. It was only like 35 minute drive from where I was living, across. You know, to to get into as soon as you crossed into, um, into Indiana, it was pretty much right there. If you get off the highway, you drive one mile, and there it was. So I don't know if it's tore down, Ben. If you're ever in that area you know I can tell you how to get there and it just uh, I don't know if it's still there but that could be something you might swing past and check out I don't know but that was that was pretty scary Ben so anyway he, he goes by BXX32 like I said he's doing the 100 video challenge awesome job Ben keep it up so uh, like I said if you guys got it you know any more questions I'll answer questions anytime I, I can get them uh, and I'll get back to you and, and I will answer them. Hi monkey! <laughs> so I think that covers everybody. We got Ben, Nancy, Carmen, and Chris. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and thanks for participating. This has been a really fun video for me to make for you and uh, hope you guys have fun watching it and asking the questions. So I appreciate it again. Thanks for watching guys. 
Bear 1000 the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.